Welcome back everybody to another exciting episode of Wrath of the Lamb, Binding of Isaac. Well, let's get a few things out of the way first. Uh, here's a short shout out to a guy called AJ or Aj. I have no idea how to pronounce that, but I'm guessing it's AJ. Anyway, let us check our stats for a moment. We already got a couple of secrets, died a few times and got a few mom kills. Hmm, plenty more stuff to do of course. Now, I thought I would do something a little special today because I'm feeling very happy. Thing is, I just finished final exams with very, very good results. Well, not very good, but good results and um, I couldn't be happier. So what I thought I would do is, uh, for a special run, I'm gonna play a little drinking game while playing, and we'll see how that will affect my uh, my playing ability. Maybe it'll even improve it, who knows? So uh, the rules of this little game, which I've imposed upon myself, is to drink a sip of uh, whiskey on the rocks every time I get hit. So I got my whiskey right here. And we're gonna start, and because last time we failed with Eve, unfortunately, we're gonna give her another chance. I want to beat uh, Mom with all of these characters as they as they become unlocked, so let's try it. Alright, Dead Bird. And Whore of Babylon are always active, of course. These guys are surprisingly fast. Luckily, Eve is very fast as well. I think she's actually faster than Isaac, isn't she? But she deals less damage, unfortunately. Right, uh, I don't like these. Stay away. Guess I'm gonna use my uh, my range advantage here. Uh, and my horrible aiming advantage. Remember, I have not actually drunk a sip yet. So this is me playing sober. Uh, sacrificial room. Not gonna use that. On the other hand, there is health here. Uh, I guess we'll come back to this room after we've beaten the boss. Uh, nothing but poop. And there's an X rock here. Maybe we'll pick up some bombs later on to blow that up. So far, we don't have any. Surprising how uh, how powerful. Isaac starting out with the bomb can be. Oh, that's one of the worst items imaginable. But uh, we don't have anything for the space bar so far, so let's get it, I guess. Um, if possible, I will try to unlock one of the other characters. Oh god, that's a bad boss right there, but we, we poisoned it at least. I hate this boss. Right, I got, I got hit. I, I gotta, hold on. Uh, there we go. <coughs> oh no, uh, I, I'm gonna have to take that sip a little later when I'm out of immediate danger. <coughs> that bird really did a number on this creature. I think Widow has very little health actually, but uh, hitting her can be really difficult. All right, so where's that sip? Alright, uh, range up, not bad, not that great. And we did not, uh, we did not get any bombs unfortunately, or any bomb-like items. We're gonna hurt ourselves once. And we are lucky in the regard that something spawned, but we don't have a key, so, yeah. Awesome. Wait. Does that count as getting hit? I guess it does. <sighs> okay. On we go. Right. So, uh, note that I'm not encouraging drinking in any form. This is only because of the very special circumstance that I'm done. So, yeah. Don't hold that against me, please. Ow. Okay. This will be going pretty badly, I can tell. 
especially as my ability will diminish. Hold on. As my ability will diminish, um, I will have to drink even more, I'm afraid, until I die. In game, I hope. Whichever comes first. <clears throat> Alright, and. Uh, oh, these aren't too bad. Although they can try to flank you, so be careful. And if everything else goes wrong, I can always use the bean, which uh, isn't that bad against regular enemies, actually. And when you can poison bosses, it has a nice effect, too. Whoop, whoop, no, 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 stay away. Okay. I really need some keys, actually, because, uh, well, I may as well pass this treasure room by. Nothing else works. Okay, here you go. Ah, that worked. You have to get really close for uh, for the poison to take effect, which is a really bad, bad thing. But so far, I'm not doing too badly. There we go. Well. Oh, that's actually a much better item. Which also inflicts poison damage, but uh, can also be used like a bomb. Alright, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. So in case you're wondering what exactly uh, I finished with, um, I go to university. I'm, I'm not going to go into details, but uh, pin. Okay. Uh, but uh, I had final exams over the last couple of uh, weeks, and I'm done with all of them. So this is Bob's rotten head, and hopefully, yep, we killed him in one shot. But we got hit. So hold on. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so so uh, basically months uh, I can't even pronounce it right. Months of preparation and uh, and stress and lately even insomnia are behind me now. Except I still have trouble sleeping <laughs> because uh well I, I wake up very early despite not having to get up early at this point in time. You know, I have free time now, basically, so... But uh, I, I guess my brain didn't realize that yet, and it, it, it's still in in overdrive, in stressful overdrive, so to speak. So I only got two cents, I may as well use them on this machine. Maybe I get some more soul hearts. Or... Cancer! Hurrah! What's that? Goat hoof. I didn't get that before. Let's see. Um, three, two, two, four. Okay. Just checking to see whether the stats change as I uh, leave the room with uh, different uh, different trinkets. Come on, I, I don't want. No. Come on, pick up the cancer. There we go. Um, three, two, two, four. No, at least the stats are not affected. I guess I'm gonna take the goat hoof because... Uh, no, the goat hoof. Because, uh, well, I did not did not use that or, or find that before, I think. Keep, uh, keep suggestions, questions and comments coming, please. Uh, I do try to answer pretty much all of them. All of the comments you post. So, yeah, I appreciate uh, when you do uh, leave a comment, and uh, also I obviously appreciate all the new sub subscribers I'm getting lately. I uh, just wonder, are you all just here for Wrath of the Lamb, or are you also interested in, I don't know, fear and the other stuff I've posted? Um, because, uh, well, fear is pretty much the main thing that I created this, uh, that, that, I, that I uploaded to this channel so far, but uh, obviously I'm gonna keep playing Wrath of the Lamb until I've, at, at least until I've explored everything and got, uh, oh, they are invulnerable, aren't they? Okay. 
uh, at least unless uh, until I have uh, unlocked pretty much everything and hopefully gotten the Golden God and, and the equivalent. Come on, why won't you die? It's like a zombie horde that you cannot drive back at all. Alright, another sip. This is going great, I can tell. And another sacrificial room. Now we would have a key to go to the item room. Huh. I can always skip one of the later ones, and I really need some kind of upgrade, so I'm gonna go in now. Uh, what's that? The mulligan. They grow inside, and my arrows, or rather my tear effect, has become uh, a fly. I guess I'm shooting flies, maybe, sometimes? Oh god. Alright, we're gonna stay far away from those evil white flies. They're surprisingly awful, I think. Wait, what just happened? So, uh, in case you're wondering, yes, the mulligan is actually an, anim uh, an enemy name. So these shuffling creatures that are filled with flies and release them when they die, those are mulligans. And apparently I've become one of them because uh, flies keep coming out of my body and uh, attacking stuff and then they explode. Okay, I already picked that up before, I don't want that. So yeah, I, I guess I'm, I'm making good use of those flies. More of those spawners, I'm not too worried about them. And the mulligan seems to be really useful in uh, taking out these, these spiders because the flies just collide with them. Uh, we're gonna go to the boss right now, why not? And it's the huff. Well, I'm not too worried about that. Uh, I just need to get a good shot in. There we go. Almost got hit there. As you can see, um, well, basically, uh, Bob's rotten head deals damage like, uh, like a bomb. A throwable bomb. In addition, it poisons the enemy, so... It's actually a very powerful item, especially against bo bosses. Eh, this is just money. I, I looked that up actually, pageant, pageant boy just gives you money apparently, nothing else. I hate this item, and I don't really want that. So, no Dio Satan, sorry. Is there anything else we want? Well, I think we're gonna, we're gonna explore the rest of this level. Maybe we can pick up a bomb or something. Because I'm really low on stuff. I also have 10 cents. Hmm. If I could find just a few more, going to the shop would be uh, would be useful. No! Oh, no! 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 No need. Ow. Okay. Well, the bird is taking care of those spiders. Luckily. And I cannot get to that bomb, so I cannot get to the treasure chest, and I'm completely screwed. Time for another sip. There we go. <coughs> and I guess there's nothing else to do on this floor. I would be looking for the secret room. There are plenty of locations here. But I don't have any bombs, do I? Hmm. I'm gonna save my money for maybe the next floor or something. Perhaps then I can go to the shop. So, so far I have skipped one treasure room, right? I, I hope I'm counting correctly. So, in order to unlock Samson, and if we even get to Mom's heart, uh, I will have to skip one more. Not oh god, already got hit again. Okay, one sip coming right up. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> ah, these guys aren't too tough. Seems that I'm actually spawning more than just one fly. That's actually useful. Oh god! I just remembered. I can also use the Bob's rotten head to to blow stuff up with. Why didn't I remember that? Oh, here we go. There we go. Should have remembered that from the start. I didn't even mean to open that, but uh, okay. What's that? Oh, Ipecac. Oh god. My nemesis. I I don't think that. If I'm at all uh, non sober, that this will work to my advantage. Well, we opened this path, so. What the hell? One. 
so one sip. In the meantime, Eve took a sip out of that blood bag, which is very good. And we're gonna play a little. Okay. Whoa. Right. Forgot about that. Well, might as well. And at least now we have no trouble whatsoever getting enough bombs to uh, to get to the secret room. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to the top and then walking a little bit downward while sh holding the firing button. Because I think that's pretty much the only way to shoot uh, at the other wall like that. Okay. Um, okay, here you go. Have that. Have at you! Oh god, his head survived. Oh, not for long. Mm, cannot go to that boss challenge room. I would have to be in much worse shape. Whoa, I got hit. And I walked into it myself too, so... Okay. Tip. Alright. Uh, doing surprisingly well so far, despite uh, the little drinking game. On the other hand, maybe uh, the alcohol isn't even really taking uh, taking effect yet. Although maybe it is. Why can't I hit them? Alright, uh, let's do it like that. And like that. And now let's try it like this. No. Oh. Somehow, this time it worked. I have no idea why. Alright, uh, let's go try for the secret room here. Yes, it is here. And it's 99 bombs. Well, I already got Epic Hack, but, uh, you know, why not? <laughs> I love this song. Overall, the soundtrack is really great, and uh, the same artist, Danny Baranowski, how oh, I got hit, uh, also did the soundtrack for Super Meat Boy and a couple of other games. And oh, I really love the soundtrack for Super Meat Boy as well. Um, quite frankly, I, I only got to know most of these games via the uh, humble indie bundles, but uh, yeah, they are really great games. Although I really suck at Super Meat Boy. I think I only got to to hell, which is like the fourth chapter of seven, six. I don't know. Uh, okay, a horseman. So we will be getting uh, ow, a meat a cube of meat. And surprisingly, he isn't any problem. Although he did hit me, so I'm gonna take another sip. And I guess I have to refill my my glass a little bit. Okay. Cube of meat. Alright, uh, we will explore the rest of this area. Because, you know, who, uh, who knows? We, we may actually find some other items or something. Mm, uh, sacrificial room. I do not like those. I don't know, I mean, you, you'd really have to swim in hearts uh, for su such a room to be worth anything, wouldn't you? Oh god. Ow. Alright, one more sip coming right up after this guy is done. Okay. <clears throat> right, these guys aren't too difficult. A missing page. No, it's awful, but uh, I did look up that one at some point. I forgot what it does. And here's Greed. Oh, great. He only takes two hits, but still... Uh, oh no, he takes three hits. Uh, or two delayed hits, I have no idea. In any case, he died pretty quickly. And going to the shop in the next floor will make sense now. Oh. Good, good, good. 
Very good. Oh, that, that was close. Come on. Alright. Okay, I think that's it for this floor. And I will go to the shop on the next floor because I got exactly 15 cents from that greed right there. I guess I can complain about uh, encountering greed instead of having an actual shop there. That's not too bad. And driving school, I tell you that uh, alcohol reduces your... Uh, uh, rather increases your reflex time. So, in a reflex heavy game like Finding of Isaac, this will be problematic. I'm sure. Oh! Okay. So far, I'm not doing too badly, if I do say so myself. Terror card, the devil. Uh, it only increases our damage, and uh, I'm not sure that Ipecac is even affected by that. Whoa, I, I almost walked into, into that one. No, 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 no. no. Okay. Uh, I gotta think about this. Uh, how do I do that? Okay. Um. Okay, that actually worked. I go into the curse room. I can take two sips. Yeah, I can take two sips. Two chests for two sips, that sounds like a fair trade. And four soul hearts, well that was worth it. Um, okay, so two sips. One. I'm gonna leave that full heart there until I actually need a full heart. And number two. There we go. And that should be easy. <laughs> Way too easy, actually. Another devil code. Well, I guess I'm gonna use one on the boss. I don't think it'll actually help. It's Loki. I don't think I've, I've fought Loki before in this... Uh, since I deleted my previous... Uh, my previous uh, save game. He's really cute and really easy if you can take out the bomb flies that he spawns right as he spawns them. And we get Loki's horns for that. Not that great an item if you ask me. Uh, every now and then you will fire uh, you will fire tears in an in a plus shape instead of just uh, just in one direction. But it's so random and so rare that I'm not sure it's actually worth a damn, to be honest. Okay, let's, uh, let's think about this. Let's be clever. Like that, and like that. Okay. And th that's what I was trying to talk about earlier. That the guts, as, as the surroundings change, and I just blew up that rock, the guts change their path. So uh, sometimes they can be knocked off their path or acquire a new one, like just happened here. All right, brains. Uh, they could be trouble if they if they uh, corner me somehow with their with their blood of goo. Uh, but uh, so far so good. I don't like those flies because they are very fast. But Eve is very fast as well, so I can't complain there. Oh, uh, we still need to skip one treasure room, but I guess I can always skip the next treasure room. What's that? It's an attack fly. Not bad. Not great. By the way, attack fly? I just noticed. I think Ipecac actually overrode the mulligan attack, because I don't think I've seen any more flies spawn since then, even though the arrow box up top still says uh, that I have the fly effect, so that's too bad. Oh. These knights, yeah, they shouldn't be too much problem with Ipecac, since that's basically a bomb, and bomb hits you wherever it comes from. Uh, only with, with tears are they invincible from particular sides. we got here compass. Well, that's definitely worth it, I would say, especially if we get down to the womb, which is my goal, after all. 
Ah, uh, baby. What seat is this? They have a really dis disturbing scream, I must say. And that's what, how they are supposed to be, I guess. Uh, number two is hoppers and a hopping spider. So I think that lends credence to the fact that the spiders are basically another version of the hoppers. Not uh, their own uh, unique enemy type, if that makes any sense. Come on, come on, no. Okay. And that guy with the face, that's basically a champion version of the knight. Guy with an Isaac face instead of a brain. Um, they usually only show up in Shawl or the room, but in this case they obviously were much earlier. Now, looking on the map, I just realized that there's a, a library in this level. That'll be interesting to go to. Oh, no, 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 no. And find out what's going on here. That didn't make much sense, but uh, I said it anyway. So, ha. Huh. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go for that library, and I just got it. So, one sip. Two sips. <coughs> Uh, that bird, please. Please take him, take him out. I'm scared. Ah, uh, stop jumping around! Okay, no! Uh, three sips. Okay, so number one. I'll be busy with those sips a little while. Oh, what's that? Cursed skull. I'm gonna take that. That looks awesome. Um, second sip. Oh, there we go. And the secret room. Well, that's awesome. Oh, I should say one secret room. After all, I've already noticed that there can be more than just one secret room now. Per level. I really haven't been diligent enough in uh, trying to find those. Considering there could be several per level. Oh wait, I think Mulligan is still working because that fly just there looked like one of the flies that uh, spawned after I got Mulligan. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it is. Aha! So there is another secret room, and funnily enough, they are right next to each other. Well, that's awesome. First we're going to the shop, though. And we get the map. Well, oh, that's excellent. Because now we have perfect overview of uh, the map layout. So going to to the bosses in... Uh, in what's it called? In the womb should be easy. The red patch. We got that previously, that really made me look all weird. Uh, not gonna take it. I, I think it's something uh, like the bloodlust bandana a little bit. But uh, I want it. But now that we got plenty more money, I guess what I do want is to go back to the shop and uh, maybe buy that soul heart which I lost. Yeah. Right, so now I have to remember, I, I have to make sure that I do not go to the treasure room on the next level because uh, that would be a waste. Okay, so I'm gonna actually use some bombs here. I really should be using more of them anyway. Um, here we go. Okay. The safety cap, uh, don't want it. I really shouldn't have gone into this room in the first place, now that I think about it, because the map layout would allow me to go a different path altogether. I'm gonna show you what I mean the moment it's, it's done and over with. Didn't even get anything for that. That's bull. Okay, let's, let's bomb our way. Into the secret room again. No, I don't want the safety cap, I want that awesome skull. Skull looks cool. I'm basing the choice of my trinket entirely on looks. Look, I didn't even need to expend a key. I could just bomb my way in. Now, we have two options here. This item is the Book of Revelations, which will uh, give us soul hearts like it just did. And it will also uh, increase the chance of encountering another horseman as a boss on this level. Now we already killed a boss, so obviously it won't do anything here. 
And that's the Book of Shadows, which is quite awesome too, because it makes you invulnerable for a short while. On the other hand, uh, the Book of Revelations can help you increase your health, basically, if you're careful enough. <sighs> The book, of, uh, the, the book of Shadows is a very good item if you combine it with, uh, say, Poison Touch. Screw it, I'm gonna go with the Book of Shadows. I, I really like that item. Uh, no, sorry, I'm going back. The reason I'm taking the Book of Revelations is less about the, the usefulness of itself, uh, in terms of giving a soul heart, although that is a big part of it, of course. Um, but also because uh, I really want to meet more horsemen. You may ask, what the hell, why would you want to encounter more horsemen bosses? Well, for one thing, um, I would like to upgrade my cube of meat that's currently orbiting me. And for another thing, I think there's a challenge or, or something that you can unlock if you defeat all of the, all of the horsemen in one run through, although I think I can't even get that because I already am so far down in the game. Okay, well, whatever, whatever the case. Okay, so we are going to pass by the, the treasure room, so we aren't even going there. We are gonna go down to the arcade though. Maybe play a little, the blood bank, even though that means I'll have to drink a whole lot more. Uh, we're gonna leave that standing for now. Uh, those are the Zelda pokies. I don't like them. Oh, well, I got hit, of course. Overshot my goal. Now, if I remember correctly, the pokies should be gone now. Yes, they are. Good. Okay. Uh, instead of a slot machine, there's one of these things here. That's interesting. Before we actually play here, though, we are gonna leave... Oh, and I need to take another sip. There we go. <coughs> and, uh, refill my glass. There we go. What's in this room? Just a chest. I don't want that. What I do want, though, is to go to the shop, which is on the way anyway. Ah, not doing that. Blow up. And give me all your money, please. This will be tricky. Ah, we got it. Alright. Yeah, no way I can reach that. Why am I so worried? I have 99, uh, 97 bombs. I can afford to. Spend a few. I guess it's just my hamster instinct, you know? I, I don't want to waste bombs. Though I have more than I could ever waste in a single run through. That was horrible. Not the actual execution or the actual result, but uh, I was quite afraid as that happened as I went into that room. Oh no, pokies. And a nice little soul heart. Hmm, can I get at that? Okay, so far so good. Oh, okay. Uh, before I try any more, I'll go to the shop because I don't want to waste my precious, precious key by accident. Uh, more hearts, which I have to blow up. I really like this enemy. It's uh, it's so weird. N not the little Larry Jr. guys, but uh, but the hearts with the masks. And I get the golden key. Well, that's perfect. Oh god, it's greed. What a waste. I have so much money and I have no way to spend it. I already fought greed in a shop in this very run through. That's, all, that's bull. Come on. Don't do that. Well, the good thing is now that I have a golden key, I can go here and pick that up without having to actually waste one. A good item, when you actually know what it does. <coughs> Sorry about that. I just had something in my throat. And it probably has something to do with, uh, with the whiskey. I would guess. 
case you're wondering, it's actually Scottish whiskey, so it's Scotch, I suppose. Not simply whiskey. But, uh... Oh, it's a Liberty Cap. If I remember correctly, that actually does... Oh god. Uh, how do I kill this thing without killing everybody else in the room? <laughs> That's a difficult question. Uh, if I remember correctly, I think the Liberty Cap uh, basically gives you a random mushroom ability for one room. And the mushrooms usually have very good abilities, like uh, giving you extra strength in terms of attack, and, uh, and power, and health, and so on. I don't want that. That does something for your keys, but I really don't need keys after this level. Uh, what was I talking about? I might like that though. Because that thing is a pearl or something. Mom's pearl, yes. Uh, and that that gives you a chance to... Um, Skatole, awesome. The pearl gives you a chance to... Uh, to freeze enemies sometimes, which can be very helpful. God, this is such a chaotic place right now. Judgment, I like Judgment. The card spawns a beggar, and you can give him all your money, and he usually spawns an item after some point, or right now. Random tears, not bad. Although I doubt it'll even work, since I already got uh, uh, Ipecac. Right. So much stuff lying around here, it's going to be impossible to pick up what I want. And another trinket, what the hell? And another card! Uh, that thing I think poisons stuff sometimes. I think the mom's pearl is probably better. Oh, there's a heart here. Oh, oh god, what the hell? Stop spawning stuff. Yeah, I want more hearts. Thank you. And another card. Another trinket, rather. This is... Oh god. <laughs> Never going to get out of here, am I? Uh, a match. A match, yeah. What? What's that? The crystal ball, what does that do? Let's just uh, try it. Spawns a tarot card. Well, that could be very useful, actually. Let's blow this thing up. Eternal heart. Hmm. Now, I'm terribly sorry about this, but uh, I am going to come back for this. So I'm going... No, wait. Bullshit. Sorry. I cannot come back for this. Uh, what do I want? Alright, you know what? Forget about it. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm taking this setup. So now I can freeze sometimes and uh, I should be able to regain some soul hearts and make sure I get a level 2 cube of meat. Uh, I was just thinking uh, I would come back for the eternal heart after I defeat the boss, but this is mum on this level. Unless I'm totally wrong in terms of counting the levels. Which means uh, that there's no going back. Back out of the boss room. So we have to go there. Like this. Oh god. These guys! What? What just happened? What's going on? What the hell? No, what? What's happening to my bullets? What? No, don't do that. I just got hit twice, didn't I? Alright, uh, dead bird. I'm, I'm gonna have to rely on you, I suppose. What is... No! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> That's bullshit! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna defeat you with bombs if I have to. We can do that, I have plenty of bombs. Screw Ipecac. There we go. Alright, uh, what the hell was that? No. Is that mom's pearl? Because if it is, I'm dropping it. The tick, I've learned now, does not allow you to pick up other trinkets. 
but it means that bosses spawn the less health, so I'm gonna take it. Right, so now, what happens now? Oh my god, Mom's Pearl is bullshit. I never want to pick that up again. Never again. Alright, thank you, Tick. Thank you so much. Okay, where were we? Um, three sips, right? I, I hope I counted that correctly. So number one. And I'm gonna take the other two after the next room. What? No, I'm, I'm still... They're still looping back towards me. I already got hit once again. Okay, so that's three more hits, uh, sips, and so on. That's, that's complete idiocy. I don't want that. Uh, Alright, let's use this and take the first of three more sips. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, now let, let me test this again. Looks fine, but why? I guess whenever enemies are around it doesn't work as, as it's supposed to. What the hell? Mom. Well, let's try this. Okay, I got hit uh, three sips right now. Okay. No, 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 stay away, please. Okay, now I'm shooting just fine. I have no idea what what's going, what was going wrong previously there. Okay, uh, here you go. Okay, four sips. God, I can't even keep up with that. Ugh. No, that that could have been it. Four sips. Okay. All right, and we do get another hard container. And we unlocked Samson, finally! So, so as I'm concerned, this run has already been a success because we unlocked another character. Alright, uh, four sips, right? So, number one. We get a pentagram, which does more damage, and I have no idea if that even has any effect. On Ipecac, <laughs> regardless, we're going down to the boom. Well equipped, actually, because we have both the map and the compass. Alright, so we're gonna try to get there as fast as possible and maybe we will go to the secret room on the way there. I don't know yet. Ah, this is a room I like. No enemies whatsoever. Just goodies, hopefully. Well, two cents and no enemies is better than some other alternative like this room, although it's still an easy room and just some flies. I hope this looping back of Ipecac does not happen ever again. I really couldn't deal with that. Oh wait, um, still got to do three more sips, don't I? Okay, so one more sip. Okay, <clears throat> and two more sips to go. Ah, that was a good shot. That warrants another sip. Okay, and gotta refill the glass again. Don't worry, I, I only fill it like a finger or so per refill, so I'm gonna be fine. <clears throat> uh, one more sip, right? Okay, let's 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 get, let's be done with this. There we go. No more getting hit from this point out. I can just feel that. Perfect play. Perfect. A pill. Well, let's take it. Telepill and oh my god, that's horrible. It's the worst kind of telepill that is humanly imaginable. Not even a Cthulhu could come up with a worst worst telepill at this point. All right. Ah, golden key. Well. <laughs> <laughs> also, <laughs> because there's so many locked doors in this in this place. Uh, at least these guys are passive, unless you're directly in their line of sight or line of attack. I guess well, that was good. Can't complain about that. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I'm actually getting better at uh, at using Ipecac. 
Now, I, if, even if I would want to pick up this flattened penny, I couldn't. Let's use the Book of Revelations. And get back on track. Oh... <laughs> even in my alcohol adult mind, I think I just figured out what the problem was. <sighs> the three dollar bill gives you a random tear effect every room. And sometimes I... I probably got uh, my reflection, which makes uh, which makes the the tears uh, basically fly like a boomerang back towards you. So that's probably what happened there. Uh, let's let's blow up this thing, and we will take the slot machine with us. This is Wheel of Fortune, which will give us a slot machine later on. An extra life? Excellent. Yep, that's a green mushroom like see, uh, as seen in Super Mario. If we die, we will get another life. We will restart with all our regular hearts. Obviously not with our soul hearts, unfortunately. And that was a worthy detour, I would say. Oh. Okay, no. Not okay. Stay away. So, uh... If we do not come across uh, any anything in in room two or in in shawl, should we get there? We can use the wheel of fortune to to get there. Now, normally, I would be more than happy to open this chest since I have a golden key, but uh, not in my current state. I'm sorry about that. I hope you don't scream at me for it. Death. Now. The fact that death is here is largely due to uh, to us uh, using the Book of Revelation, so that that ensured that he would spawn, and that means that we will get a level two meat boy who will uh, give us a little bit of fire support, hopefully. Now, killing this this flying thing will be uh, a bit of a miracle. We got. Lots of soul hearts, and I think the cube of meat just destroyed that thing. <laughs> I was about to take another sip. Brimstone. Well, people told me they don't want me to take brimstone, and I can fully understand that. I'm curious, though, what happens if I combine chocolate milk with Ipecac. Let's do that, and take another sip. Since we just got hit by devil, or Satan. So I charge up. And it's just the same, anyway. That's too bad. I would love to pick up brimstone in combination with chocolate milk, just so you know, folks. Yeah, just so you know. But I'm doing this for you, I'm not picking it up. So I hope you appreciate that. To the rest of time. Right, let's go down. The womb too, and we're not that far away from mom. Or rather, mom's heart. Or Whatever. That's a proper mum, really. The normal mum boss fight in uh, the depths or the necropolis, which is the alternative to the depths, does not even count as a mum kill. So, I think only mum's heart counts as a proper mum. In some sense. I'm sure it makes sense if you understand it. Don't mind me, I'm just... I'm just talking, randomly. Oh god, it will not end well, will it? Actually, it might. I have no idea how I got out of there. But somehow it did. Another soul heart. Well, we are really well equipped, surprisingly. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. Okay, let's let's deal with Mom's heart. Why not? Right. Let's place a bomb down near these lasers because I don't trust myself with Ipecac. But now we can just uh, shoot at the heart, I guess. This should be easy, but uh, theory and practice are often very different things. See? Oh, I got hit. So I will have to take a sip here, 
We got a razor for defeating Mom's heart. Ah, there's that zip. And excellent! The path has opened. Defeat is in a jar, okay. We can actually go down to shore. Great. I will I will try it. Why not? Got nothing to lose. And we are in Shawl, and thanks to the map and the compass, we know exactly where to go. It's still a far way off, but uh, no, we can we can kind of cheat our way. Well, it's not really. Oh, I got hit. It's not really cheating as such. It's just uh, unsportsmanlike to to run away from a fight. I don't know why they aren't shooting at me, but I, I'm not going to complain. So I have to take, oh, two, two hits, so I'll have to take two sips, in short order. Uh, no, three sips, okay. Things are kind of going awry right now. Four sips. I hate, no, wh why am I even here? I should have left this room ages ago. At this point, the uh, greed is so down. Oh, four sips? Four sips or five sips? Five sips, I think. Okay, five sips. All right. Please, that bird, attack that thing. I don't want to get anywhere near it. Right. Uh, sip number one. There we go. <clears throat> Let's bomb our way through. I, I don't care at this point. Okay, five more sips, obviously. Six more <laughs> sips. Oh god. I'm gonna have to fight in this room. Seven more sips, oh my god, I'm totally being overwhelmed with sips here. Okay, number one. Ah. Stay away from me, please. Close. But no cigar. Number two. Got a refill. So five more sips at this point, since it was seven minus two, so number one. Four more sips, okay. So this is Satan. I can't even remember if I if I did a Satan run yet since deleting. But uh, I guess I did. Uh, one more sip. So that's three more sips. Uh, should we take them now or after the boss fight? I guess we're going in now. One more sip. So two more sips, either during or shortly after the boss fight. Okay, that was a waste. Oh god. Uh, I didn't get hit. Amazing. Oh. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Uh, I can't even count anymore, sorry. I died. One. Two. Three. And how often did I get hit in there? I don't know. Screw it. Uh, whatever. We're just gonna spawn this thing and try our best. Pretty fly, well that's actually useful. It may stop some incoming bullets from uh, either the Fallen or, or Satan himself. Right, I gotta focus. Once I get in there, I have to focus, and uh, that's not gonna be easy. Okay, guess I can't spend the rest of my money. Let's go in. Right, one, two, three, plant. There we go. Gotta be on top of my game here. Oh, I already got hit by my own fucking bomb. Sorry about that. 
No. Okay. He has negative health, what the hell? Alright. Uh, two more hits. This will be difficult, to say the least. Uh, gotta be very careful. Very careful, because my vision is starting to get a bit tunnely. You know tunnel vision? Ever experienced that? Well, it's disappointing. Alright, one more hit. Well, this will be down to the wire. This will be very, very much down to the wire. Wow, if I actually make this... no. Too close. Well, well, this was interesting. But we did unlock Samson, despite my self-imposed handicap. So, there the dude is. Wow, he looks really determined. Also, is he naked? I mean, all of them are naked, but uh, for some reason I can actually see uh, detail on him. What the hell? Uh, looks like Kane is the last regular character to unlock. There's also one more who is hidden. Still. Uh, of course, it would have been a crowning achievement to actually defeat Satan in my slightly inebriated state, but uh, it was not supposed to be, I guess. Let's take a quick look at the collection. It's filling up, I must say. And also, plenty of the new items already in here. Yeah. Well, I hope you enjoyed the celebratory, special, slightly inebriated episode. And we'll be back for the next one, in, uh, which will be back to normal, I assure you. I mean, you only, uh... You only graduate once, after all, so... Yeah. Uh, see you then, folks, in the next episode. Bye!